Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Encore Podcast. I am your host, Michael C. Brown. I have the honor of having two, not one, but two of our outstanding students here uh, today, and I am so excited about this episode and what it can bring. Uh, I have Toby and Tommy with me here today. Ladies, thank you so much for being on the podcast. How are you feeling today? Good. Uh, we're doing good. Yep. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So I am not going to delay. Uh, I want to give you ladies an opportunity just to introduce yourselves, your name. I ain't going into the full name, but I will say your name <laughs> and uh, also your class in, in year and age. Okay. I'll go, I'll go first. Yeah, sure. So I'm Toby Alwale. I'm going to be a senior and I'm 17 years old. I am Tommy Alwale. I'm also going to be a senior and 17. We're twins. Okay, in case yeah. you didn't know. Yeah. In case you didn't know. All right. <laughs> all right. And so, um, being twins, being in the school, I've known you young ladies for uh, a while now. And um, talk to me about both of you are very, very busy um, and involved in so many different things. So talk a little bit about uh, some of the activities that you are involved in, uh, clubs, sports, et cetera, uh, just so everybody kind of knows how busy you all actually are. You're pretty busy. She's more busy than me. Let me say that. But so I'm the senior class president for this year. I'm also on the NHS board. I'm treasurer. And then I'm on the CDU board, which I'm a historian for that. And then I also do sports. I do uh, varsity soccer and varsity basketball. And I think that's it pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, I am also involved in the sports world. Um, I do varsity soccer and varsity basketball. Oh, and yearbook. yeah, I'm involved in the yearbook production stuff. All right. Did you do yearbook last year? Yeah, I'm doing it this year, too. I'll All right. So I did, this is just a little shameless plug for those people. For those people who listen to the audio or they're not going to be able to see this. But I got to I got to show the new yearbooks have come in it's and nice. they look they look outstanding. Yeah. Um, you know, so I haven't gone through all of it, but I have gone through the first couple pages and it looks great. So you guys did an awesome job. So I gotta give you kudos for that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got to talk about why I had you both on the podcast to begin with. Um, and, and it dates back to a conversation that I had with both of you. First of all, I talked to both of you a lot, you know, through the course of the school year. So I always, um, you know, like to give both of you a hard time in the hallways. I like to keep up on your mm -hmm. grades and different things that's going mm -hmm. on. So I love to do that. Um, so when I saw you guys, I think you guys were in between games or there was a game that was going to happen later on that evening and just had an opportunity to talk to both of you. And I was really uh, blown away by the conversation. Uh, we talked about a bunch of different stuff. Uh, we talked about Africa. We talked about America. We talked about uh your addictions to some of the things in america mm -hmm. i'm not gonna go into some of those things but some things that both of you cannot do without and we talked about some of those things and um it was just, it was just a really really good conversation um so can you guys talk a little bit about you uh, you do have these vices right and i'll mention one of them just because and this is not mr brown does not get paid for this podcast nor do i have sponsors or anything else so I talk about this is not that this company is giving me any money, but I, I have to mention your addiction to Chipotle. Now, this is Toby. Toby, Toby, I don't know if you're addicted to Chipotle. Not as much. I can control myself. She can. I, I love Chipotle. Like, we really went yesterday. Like, I, it's just so good. The food is so good. And it's close to the school, so I can just, like, go <laughs> after school or, like, for a game yeah. or something it is a good pre-game meal so. and it's like it's kind of healthy too i like to think it's healthy there's lettuce in it and rice it's, it's, healthy. it's also it's also queso and cheese and all types of exactly. stuff that's probably not healthy some of that stuff isn't healthy though <laughs> okay better than mcdonald's true exactly <laughs> exactly so if all right so let me get to this first so 
uh, Toby, what is your go-to? Because I know you know it off the top of your head. What is your go-to? You go to Chipotle. I'm at the counter. Hello, how can I help you? What are you What are you getting? Well, first of all, I order on my phone. Oh, okay. I well, pick up. I get the bowl. I get the chicken, white rice. I get extra sour cream. A little bit of pinto beans. I got lettuce and the pico salsa and cheese. Yeah. So good. And that's your thing. And you don't deviate from that at all. Like you always order the same thing. It doesn't matter. One time I accidentally ordered the burrito and I did not like it. I just dumped the burrito <laughs> into a bowl. And I, I can't do burritos now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow. Wow. Listen, I like Chipotle too, but I think you have a problem. I'm just going to put that out there. Whatever. Toby, what is your what is your go? So if it isn't Chipotle, something you can you can do without. What is your like? What's your advice when it comes to like food and restaurants and that type of thing? Do you have one for other people? No, I mean, tell me. I'm excuse me, tell me. What do oh. you? What is your? What is your? What's your, what's your advice? Like, what is your? You know, what can you not do without? Uh, Chick fil A. And milkshakes. Chick love milkshakes. Yeah. Chick -fil -A, yeah, milkshakes. So it doesn't matter where the milkshake comes from. It doesn't have to be milk matter. Chick Fil A milkshake. It doesn't okay. really matter. Honestly, some people can't drink milkshakes before games because like their stomach gets funny or whatever. But I'm fine. Okay. So Honestly. if you go to Chick Fil A, and same thing that I said to Toby, and you're like ordering at the counter, you know, I'm at Chick Fil A. It's my pleasure to serve you. <laughs> okay how can i help you what's what can what's going to be your order uh chicken sandwich medium fries and large oreo milkshake wow and you're doing the pickles like we're doing the pickles yeah, pickle, or we're not I pickles I she like, hates pickles I like, but I like pickles yeah i can't do the pickles there's always no pickles yeah. No, I don't. I don't like the taste. I feel like I feel like they make the the bottom of the sandwich like soggy. I just I don't you know I don't I don't like. It. Mm -mm. I can't do that. No, and I think they have some kind of pimento cheese sandwich out now. I would not be eating oh, that. Like yeah. it's not. It's good. No, but I don't like it. Yeah, some friends. Some of my friends said it was really good, so I might try that. I have a new milkshake too. You get to try it. It's like caramel or something. Oh yeah, maybe I'll try that one. Wow. Yeah, I don't well, deviate. From orders, like so money. wherever, so let me get this straight. Wherever both of you move to, you're going to have to have that particular restaurant. And yes. yeah. like, I, what kind of mile radius are we talking about? It's going to have to be within a mile, yeah. five yeah. miles. Yeah, it has to be on campus. It has to be on campus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a make or break. Make or break. Make or break. So they don't. So they don't have a Chick Fil A. You're already like, I'm out. Place. No, I'm never there. No, I'll see me there. Never. Wow, that is that is something to know as we enter the season of trying to pick our next destination, yeah. right? This is going to be an interesting year to figure that out because I'm going to be all over both of you about that to figure out where you go, and I want you guys to show me on the map where is there Chick Fil A and where there is a Chipotle. <laughs> so um, another part of that conversation we had originally that was, that made it really interesting was. Uh, both of you and your African heritage, your African roots, right? And being um, an African American, I am, you know, somewhat obsessed with my own history, right? Because I feel like through slavery and other things, like a lot of those things for African Americans, we just don't know. And it takes you a long time to really find out about your heritage, where both of you, you don't have to dig that far back. Like your heritage is right, you know, it's right there. So, um, Talk to me a little bit about what that really means to you and being a student at Winners Mill, and we'll get into uh, talking about your parents a little bit. Okay, so we're originally from Nigeria. Um, that's in Africa. Okay, yeah. some people don't know that. I like them to right, teach, teach them, teach them. They know now. Exactly. <laughs> um. So we, my parents immigrated here from. What, when did they immigrate here? Like 19 something? I mean, two. No, 2002. Yeah, 2000 something. Maybe something like that. In the 2000s. Yeah. Early 2000s. Okay. Early 2000s. Um, my older sister was born there. So. Okay. We were born here in Baltimore. Yes. Okay. And you can tell the difference. Yeah, yeah you can tell the difference. Yeah. <laughs> born over there, not here. 
Well, clearly, because both of you are addicted to, you know, some American cultures here. So does it? I like Chipotle. But I'm not the Chipotle. I'm not like the Chipotle. Chipotle's just no. She's also obsessed with Chipotle too. Yeah, but. she is. Um, but uh, we usually visit Nigeria every two years over the summer. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're, we, since COVID, we haven't been going. Yeah. But we went there and back in like 2018. Yeah, we've been there a long time. Yeah, we've been there in a while, but yeah. Looks like it's time to go back. That's what that's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, it is. Maybe the summer. Yeah, that's a graduation present. You go back to go back to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that would be a present, but yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It does. It does cost a lot of money to go. Have you seen what the flight prices are? Do you look at any of that? Okay, all right. I just want to know. Um, (laughs) so. That's good. That's good. I, I feel as though, um, and I, I think we talked about that sometimes when you go back, like talk to talk a little bit about like the differences, like you, you guys talked about, you, you go back and you're like, man, like they don't have, like, it's like, you know, you miss out on like the Chipotle's and stuff like that, but there's other things that you do get. What makes you excited when you do go back to Nigeria? Like what's the excitement that you get uh, hyped up about? Mega chicken. There's this, they have like their own fast food there. Um, Mega Chicken. It's like a nice buffet. It's like, it's like, like five stories. Yeah, it's like and five like stories. And each floor is some like cuisine. And there's like a arcade at the top. Yeah, it's very cool. cool. And then, okay. um, obviously seeing our family. That's yeah. nice. Um, going to, they have like a, there's like Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, people think it's just like it's all huts and stuff. stuff. Like, no, there's actually attractions. So there's, like, there's, there's pools and there's like beaches. We yeah. have water. It's just water there. Yeah, there's water there. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. And just like even just, just seeing like the scene, not scenery, but just like just seeing everything. Like just seeing like markets and stuff yeah. like that. Going to the store. It's just nice. And, and, and like if you walk out your house, there's like a market. Like, there's always something going two on. Two feet. Outside. Yeah, there's always something going on inside. Yeah. 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 I think I find it like interesting. And also you guys talked about just the landscape and everything else and how, you know, people have it pictured in their mind from uh, watching movies or watching like media and then what the actual like country looks like and how the differences are uh, where people, they have, you know, some of the same amenities that we have here, you know, people aren't, you know, everybody's not, you know, just like here, you have people that are poor, you have people that are rich. Um, and it's the same thing when you go into other, you know, other countries. Um, so that's awesome. Do you guys know, like your parents coming from Nigeria, coming here, do you know some of the reasons why they, you know, wanted to come here and be, and more specifically, why come to Maryland or, or like Baltimore? Oh, I remember the story they told me. So, First, originally, we were supposed to and go don't get in any don't get in any trouble. Tell me a story, but I don't. Want to... Not bad. Okay, so <laughs> we were supposed to go to Cal. They're supposed to go to California. We were supposed to be Cali girls. Yeah, I can't believe that. Well, I can see that you're almost Cali girls now. So I mean, yeah. I can. <laughs> but the person who's supposed to take um my parents to California is that I think rather they were late or they didn't have enough like seats in the car, so then for some reason they ended up here. But like <laughs> we have like aunts, uncles over here. It, but yeah, we have okay. a lot of, we have a lot of family yeah. here. Yeah, well, like already here. Yeah, not like family, but like people we know. Like right. they have close friends that they know since like in college. Yeah. So that's why I chose Baltimore because like they all are like all of our family friends now. They all live in Baltimore now. And um, I know they bought the house. I remember that. Yeah. That's when we came. We were born. We were born in was it GBMC? That's, yeah. yeah, that's the same hospital I was born in. Oh. My kids were born in that hospital too. I think yep. everyone was born in there. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> yeah. And then um, my dad and my dad, they went, he went to college. Yeah, he went to college here. Where did he go? He went to the University of Maryland. No, he he worked at the University of Maryland Medical Center, but he went to college in I think it was Towson. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. He went my no. mom too. She also went to college here. Yeah. Okay. And um, now my dad, he worked his way up. He's a doctor now. And chilling. Yeah, he owns like right. a Yeah, my mom's All like, right. Yeah, my mom's like us. That is, that is awesome. That is awesome. So to come here and not know 
a lot. And now, you know, you kind of see where your how your parents have like built themselves up, worked hard and, and gotten to certain places. And like, and really in a short period of time, you're talking about 2000, even though it seems like a long time to both of you, yeah. but in actuality, that's really a short period of time to really do all these things. Um, you have to be super proud of like your parents. I know you, when you get off of this podcast, make sure you go tell them how proud you are, both of them. I think they would appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, they, they're, they're enjoying it, you know? They're enjoying it. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, they all the parents, they need time off. So that's, yeah. that's, that's for sure. Um, so going back to your activities, you guys are involved in different things. And uh, sometimes that can be very stressful for students. I see you all at different pockets and times of the school year. And man, you guys seem like you're, you're, you're run down, not you, you both in particular, but just uh, individuals that have schedules like yours, uh, you know, it can, it can become a grind at different times of the year. How do you all balance that? Um, and I'll let you guys take turns, but how do you, how do you balance that? You know, doing all those things and then still having high grades and both of you want to go to great schools. Like talk about some of those pressures and how you kind of balance everything. Um, lack of sleep. <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> um, you just have to work on time management, I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure you have like a schedule down, at least in your mind, um, what you have to do, where you have to be. I'd say that's the biggest thing. Yeah, have like a calendar. I have an app. Yeah, I have a, like a calendar app and a, like a grades app with like all my assignments. I just put yeah. it down. So I, don't, I don't do planners. I don't do like written stuff. I have like on my my phone to assign me yeah. to do list. And then also you just have to you also have to like like that you're busy. Like me personally, I like that I'm always doing Same. something. Yeah. Because then I know I'm doing something productive rather than just like staying at home and sleeping and watching Netflix. That's what I'd be doing or like TikTok. So you just have to like, like obviously I like what I do. Like I love soccer. Like I love being. It's also like social too. Like and I love even doing like stuff for like one for, uh, for class president. Like most of the time I'm like talking with like my VP or my other board members, and it's just I, I find it fun. Me personally, I find all the stuff that I do like for the school or at the school like enjoyable. So it's not as if like oh I have to go do this, I have to go do that. It's yeah. like it's fun. I think it's fun. yeah. Well, your whole, uh, Toby, with your, your soccer team, like social media following and everything, uh, you are like blown yeah. up. You guys yeah. have blown up. So I'm like, that's what we do. Uh, <laughs> it's like 1.5 yeah. 5 1, K followers. And 1 million views. 1.5 million views, I'd like to say. 1.5 million views. That's what we do. Yep. Everyone so, follow the account. Exactly. I'm just more high school. I can't. Pro soccer. Uh, pro soccer. <laughs> I can't. You, you've now outdid Mr. Brown. I can't. I, we're coming I can't. Through you. Exactly. I didn't think we were going to come, but now we're coming for you. Exactly. Like, we're coming for all the teams. All of, yeah. No, we're really past all the teams in the county. Yeah. We, we bought a, um, a mini mic recently. Yeah. So we're going to be doing interviews. Yes. During like practices. Y'all are practice. trying to see. This is what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, America. Let me tell you something. Mr. Brown came to the school before these individuals were even freshmen. Nobody was really doing anything with social media, anything like that. And here we go, several years later, and now we're buying microphones and we're trying to do interviews and everything else. I mean, I see, I see what both of you are doing. I'm watching both of you. I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, trying to outdo, trying to outdo Mr. Brown. I get what I get what's going on. You inspire us though. Yeah, but now we just have us. to outdo you. Yeah. So. <laughs> outdo the doer. Outdo the doer. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. And I love the fact that both of you have plans for how you can balance things. Hopefully, if you're hearing this and you're a student, uh, whether you're in high school, uh, middle school, or uh, or in college, um, you have to be organized with the more activities and things like that, that you were, that you're involved in. Um, if not, certain things will kind of fall by the wayside. Also being involved in activities also allows you to stay active and not, you know, sit around the house and just do nothing. You gain more friends that way. And I think for both of you, high school is more of a positive place for you because 
you have friends in multiple areas and you enjoy, you know, coming to school. Yeah, it gets early and you get tired, but you still like enjoy the aspect of, of being in school. So I think that's important for everybody to know. Um, going into, I ask everybody these three questions or these three things, and I just want to make sure you guys can name this for me. Uh, and at Winners Mill, we're always about passion, purpose, pride. That's our moniker. That's what we're really about. And uh, I want you both to name three things that you are passionate about. And I've already known one for both of you. So, I mean, there's a Chick-fil-A and Chipotle. That's one and one right there. So I guess two more things for both of you that you're passionate about. That's the first I would say sports. Yes, yeah, sports. Or anything athletic, really. Um, and then we'll split off. I'll do like my career, so that would be medicine. I want to do pre med. So I'm very passionate about that. Okay. And my, mine is computer science, like cybersecurity and that stuff. Okay. Look at both. Look at both of you. Okay. So. That is three things I think that are, are, are really great, especially for your age that you know. Um, I know um, both of you plan to go forward on to college and, and, and study. Where are we at with the whole process? Have you all both like nailed down at least schools that you want to apply for for this yeah. year? Like where, where are we at with that whole process of college and picking where you want to go? Um, definitely staying in Maryland. Yeah. Um, we already have our schools, like our top three schools, three, four, four yeah. three schools decided on where we want to apply to. Yeah. Okay. All right. Why would I apply As to you? Yeah. With you all being twins, you, is this, is this, are we saying goodbye to each other? Like this is the, this is it where we're like not going to the same school anymore. Like, or is it possible you could go to the same school? It, it's, it's, never happens. But it's possible. I yeah. hope not, but it's yeah. possible. Like, <laughs> I'm going to go out of my way to not, but also not going to go out of my way to, to exactly. be at the same school. Sir. If but it happens, it happens. Either way, no, not the same dorm room. Yeah, it's definitely not, not the same dorm room. Because we already, yeah, no. no. Everything that. We need separation for a little bit. Exactly. Because, yeah. Together. If it's but like, you do, so you feel as though, I think a little separation would be good. Yeah, you know, I, sometimes you got to separate in order to really appreciate yeah, yeah. the people a little bit more. And then you guys come back together and you're even closer than you were before because uh-huh. you appreciate sure. that. Yeah. I think that I think that's where you guys should, should be at. But, you know, being in Maryland, you you both choose Maryland schools. Yeah, you'll still be, you know, roughly close yeah. to each other and everything else. So it's it's um I think it'll work out well. But that would be I'm going to be all on top of that to find out. Where you guys go to school? I'm all, I'm all in. I can't wait for you guys to tell me where you've been accepted to and where you decided to go to school. Um, what? So, first week of school is coming. Maybe for a lot of people that are listening, the first week of school probably by the time I post this, first week of school will already be here. There is a lot of new teachers that we have. There is always new students that we have, uh, freshmen, people that are transferring in. The first day of school can be stressful for a lot of kids. What advice do you have for students that are coming in and they're new to Winters Mill High School on that first day? What advice would you give them? Like, um... And try to get out of your comfort zone. If you want to make some friends, yeah. Um, join activities or what is it? Clubs. That's where you make a lot of friends. Yeah. At least two clubs. Yeah. If you're into sports, join like a uh, the soccer team. What we go to like. But like, what's winter? Just sports, sports are coming up. Spring sports are fun. Yes, yeah, and sports. please go to all the football games. If you yeah, can. go to the football like, games. Like those are the best. Definitely, just like make sure you're out. Like. Out and about, like go to the soccer games, go to, come to our games, yeah, come to girls' soccer games, games too. just yeah, like anything. Shameless, that's a shameless plug for you know girls' <laughs> soccer. I'm just saying, just saying, but yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just get out, don't, try to get don't out. be an NPC, yeah. yeah, don't try to um call yourself, call, yeah, because yeah. you're not gonna enjoy high school, you're not gonna enjoy high school if you're, yeah, there. um, swords, and don't walk slow in the hallways, yeah, do not walk slow in the hallways. <laughs> Uh, it's hate slow walkers. That's big. Not it's mostly freshmen who are 
Maybe uh, they, they ask over the views, yeah, maybe. but you just gotta keep the pace. Exactly. What I do is on the first day of school, I have all my classes and the room number on my lock screen. Mm-hmm. So I just look. Like, I'm like, oh, where's my class? What number is it? I look. So I don't have to stop in the hallway, go find my schedule. And, like, block everybody's way. And block everyone's way. Because, pe- yeah. It's, do that. don't be, yeah. So just have your schedule on your lock screen. That's why I would get it. And usually there's people to help. So just ask yeah. around. Especially teachers. Because oh. yeah. so many teachers are new, too. Yeah. So it's like, oh, everyone's learning. Yeah. Okay. I think some of, the, some of that advice is words to live by. You know, we had conversations the first day. There's information that um you know a lot of kids don't know that like you know we have to as administration and teachers like we have to get this information out um and so it it's something that we have to go through it doesn't always have to be in a boring way sometimes it can be in a fun way to get to know your activities and those type of things so that varies from class to class um but when you know we meet it as uh, and go over things with grade level teams or grade levels we got to go over certain information with everybody and kind of set the tone on what the expectations are, different other things. So some of that stuff is just necessary. But more importantly, like you said, Tommy, there are resources, there are people there to help. All you have to do is ask. And I would also add, it's all about being yourself. You don't have to be a version of uh, what you think people are expecting you to be. Oh, I'm in high school now, so let me act like this. Um, you can just be yourself. I think both of you have done that from the time you're a freshman until now. I mean, you've been who you are. You don't try to be anything other than that, which is awesome. Uh, so I think that's really, really important. So, um, I want to, you know, that look, this is a wrap. I just want to, again, thank you ladies so, so much for being on the podcast for everybody listening, um, and, and watching, um, they did not hesitate to be on. Uh, when I asked them, they were like, "Definitely want to, definitely want to do it." So, being the first two students that are on the Encore podcast, it means a lot to me. So, I appreciate that. And um, is there any last things that you want to say to the audience out there before we move on? Well, the girls' Instagram page, <laughs> football game tonight. Yeah, come, come to the football game tonight. It's Hawaiian night. Uh, we're looking to get some some big dubs out there, yes. and make sure you make sure you follow uh, the soccer girls on Instagram. They are blowing oh, up. Yeah. Let me let me tell you, uh, and also remember Encore Podcast. You know we are here to give you more of what you all want. We're going to continue to bring interesting students, staff members, and other people in the community to you all this season. So I can't wait, girls. Thank you. And I will see you all again next time. Thanks a lot. Yeah.